Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Cobb of Z-Health Performance, and today we're going to show you how to turn your TV time into elite athletic training. Hi everybody, today what we're going to talk about, as I said, is using your TV time as an elite athletic training tool. Uh, this may sound a little bit strange, but what we want to do is remember some basics about Neurology 101 and then how that works its way into athleticism. So when we talk about the brain, we say the brain and the nervous system basically function needing three things. Good input, so I need to be able to see well and hear well and feel things well. And then I need to be able to interpret what that information means in my brain. And then I need to choose the correct output, meaning the correct movement, high quality movement. And so whenever we watch sports, that's what we're seeing all the time. I see an athlete, he sees his opponent do something, he decides what that movement means, and then he acts to counter it. Now, whenever we train athletes, one of the things that we found is it's really useful to actually take a big step back and go, how can we train components of athleticism while you're doing other stuff? So here's how we're gonna do it today. If you're sitting in front of your TV, I'm gonna teach you a simple drill that you can work on that will actually connect visual information to explosive body movement, which is really a key element in most sports. All right, so here's how this works. First thing that we want to focus on is developing skill in developing tension in the body and relaxation in the body. I know that sounds kind of simple, but it's something that you really want to practice. So we're going to do it together. I want you to stand up, get nice and tall. I want you to grab the ground with your feet. I want you to tighten up all the muscles in your legs, tighten up your abdomen, tighten up your chest, your arms, and release it slowly, all right? Let's do that a couple more times. Everything gets tight, 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 tight. Slow release. All right, let's do it one more time. Everything gets tight. Slow release. Now, obviously, getting tight is how we generate speed and strength in sports, but relaxation is required for general movement. So what we have to do as an athlete is we have to get awesome at going from tight to relaxed explosively. So if you ever thought about this, practicing explosive relaxation is really the key which sounds weird and contradictory, but that's really what it is. So now we're gonna do the same exercise, but when we relax, we're gonna relax explosively. So once again, grip the ground with your feet, tighten up your legs, rest of your body, get tight, and quickly relax. All right, try that again, tight, and quick relax. The relaxation that you achieve should feel virtually the same as the very slow one that we did before. That's the first step in this exercise, all right? So, Working on explosive tension generation and explosive relaxation is step one in this exercise. Step two, now we're gonna sit in front of the TV. <laughs> um, the average right now in the United States is that people watch about five hours of TV, or at least the TV's on five hours a day. So even if you don't watch TV, it probably applies to your clients <laughs> if you work with clients. So here's how I get athletes to do this all the time. I say, pick your favorite TV show. Even if it's a half hour sitcom, there's gonna be probably six to seven minutes of commercials. All right, and that's the key thing here. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna start practicing brain training. Because you're gonna sit, you're gonna watch TV, but you're gonna have a little reminder there. And when a commercial comes on, every time a commercial comes on, you're gonna do one rep of explosive tension, explosive relaxation, and then you're gonna watch. And the next time the commercial changes, do the same thing. Next commercial, same thing. Because in most TV shows, you'll get four to five commercials, one after the other, and they're gonna vary in time from 30 seconds to a minute to sometimes 10 or 15 seconds. And so during that little span of time, you're being an athlete. You're focusing, you're paying attention, and every time the visual information changes, you have to see it, notice it, and do something about it, all right? It's a really, really cool, simple drill, and what we found with a lot of athletes is it intensifies and uh, in improves the reaction time tremendously especially uh, when they get a chance to practice it over and over and over throughout their afternoon and evening. So there you have it. Give this a shot. Uh, what I actually would love to hear from you is try it for a week or two and see, number one, do you get better at getting tight and relaxed? And number two, if you are a tennis player, you play field sports, you play basketball, give us some feedback on how it's influencing uh, what's happening on the field or on the court. So if you have questions about this, please let us know. Otherwise, have a great week. Exactly. He's exactly how he appears on the phone. This phase. I can't count. Okay.
three.